Well, I think uh, in the Middle East, one of the great things about the Middle East market is that it is very forward-looking uh, and they are very accept acceptable to uh, great ideas. Mm. And that's why if you look at Middle East, uh, there are a lot of iconic buildings, a lot of unusual type of uh, developments. And uh, that drives really the, the nature of our business uh, because we are you know, involved in master planning, urban planning. Yeah, we've done 300 around the world and so on. Uh, we have done a lot of industrial estates. So the Middle East uh, represents a uh, tremendous market potential for us. And in terms of the fees, uh, obviously because it is a very demanding project, mm. but they also uh, uh, pay us uh, very good fees. Yang Fine, it's Hadley in Abu Dhabi. Of course, Cityscape's been ongoing this week. We spoke earlier this week with the chairman of Aldar Properties. We've also, of course, been in conversations with Mubadala, the country's sovereign wealth fund. It's interesting to note that you have investments with Mubadala as well. You've worked with them in the past in terms of uh, these big projects like malls and, and other developments. How worried are you when we see analysts coming out and saying that there could be potentially a property bubble happening in Dubai. How much does that worry you, given what we saw just a few years ago, really, during the financial crisis? Well, Dubai is unusual in the sense that Dubai today is not just the Middle East market. They caters to a lot of uh, uh, investors uh, from all over the world. Uh, and today, because of the connectivity between Middle East and the Asian region and the European region, uh, today the market in the Middle East are quite different. Uh, from a few years ago. Uh, so I think uh, going forward, uh, together with the Expo 2020 and, uh, Dubai and the uh, Saudi uh, vision for 2030, uh, this is going to energize uh, again the, the Middle Eastern market. Uh, and we believe that there will be tremendous uh, opportunity for uh, companies like ours uh, to participate in that growth in the region. And you mentioned Saudi Arabia there. I want to ask you, projects like NEOM, this $500 billion mega city that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is looking to put out there on the west coast of Saudi Arabia, where are the opportunities specifically for your business? Well, as you know, in the area of the urban uh, urbanization, today with uh, technology advances uh, and so on, uh, the ability now to put uh, and put on top of what we do for normal city planning and so on, together with a digital uh, master plan, really will be able to transform uh, the way that uh, cities are now built. Uh, for example, uh, with driverless cars, yeah, there will be less and less uh, demand for car parking, and that frees up a lot of space uh, for doing uh, uh, new developments. Mm. Uh, and of course, uh, now with uh, the shared economy, you will be looking at more and more co-working and co-living type of uh, uh, new topology uh, uh, in Singapore. Uh, we are experimenting with vertical farming and they can be transported over to, to the Middle East as well. So there will be a lot of uh, opportunities uh, uh, in, in that uh, development, we believe, and with the uh, introduction of new technology and new uh, topology of buildings. Uh, it's really quite exciting. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.